Hi, this is James Mathers with the Digital Cinema Society at the HPA Tech Retreat. I'm here with Dr. Hans Keening of ARI. He's an expert in 4K and he's going to tell us some of his uh, theories that he's been presenting here at the uh, HPA. It's a very modest story about the basics about dynamic range because uh, same thing that on spatial image quality, I think our industry suffers a lot of, excuse my language, bullshit in marketing talk in, uh, in selling products. And what ARI in general tries to get back to the scientific roots of problems, even if those are at the present uh, not the most important, I guess. <laughs> this time I want to present dynamic range. And uh, what we did is we made a proposal for a new method to measure dynamic range of cameras. And I should simply show it's, it's not rocket science, it's a um, metal plate with some drills in it. And um, the basic technology is we are using airy laser recorded black and white film, uh, which is behind these holes. Um, in the same principle that you would use ND filters. And additional to that, um, these um, patches include spatial content. So when you capture that frame, it's lit from, from the backside with an integrating sphere. And uh, when you light it uh, from the back, you could very easily um, distinguish where is the clipping point at the low end and at the high end. And the let's say novelty to it is um, the point that we define the lower part of the dynamic range and the higher part not by the noise level but uh, by the capability of transporting spatial content so that's uh, the short version of the 30 minute talk now <laughs> so you're going to keep everybody honest with their claims of dynamic range um yeah i'm, I'm trying to because it's a well, a, a pretty pretty new method, and I, I'm really curious as if somebody comes up and says, well, maybe good idea, but you forgot this and that. <laughs> it can be. 